Alright guys, how's it going? So this is Josh with Texan UK. Uh, in this video we're going to be installing Webmin onto our Linux uh, server. Um, Webmin is like a, um, a web administrator uh, page, gives us access to the shell, uh, gives us access to managing network packets, uh, Windows, uh, Windows, Linux firewalls, so the IP tables gives us access to that. Uh, it gives us access to RAID, uh, hard drives, statistics, um, pretty much anything you want to know about your Linux server um, you can find from Webmin. It is a really, really nice uh, thing here. So basically it says here, Webmin is a web-based interface for system administration for Unix. Uh, using any modern web browser, you can set up user accounts, Apache, DNS, file sharing and much more. Uh, Webmin removes the need to manually edit uh, Unix configuration files like Etsy, password, uh, unless you manage the system from a console or remotely. So, um, yeah, that's nice, but I like controlling my servers from the shell. It's just a nicer feel. You don't feel like you're being so, your hands being held when you use, I feel like my hands being held when I use this sort of stuff. So, um, I only use this to check out system memory and hard drive space and things like that. Um, and a couple of other little management things, mostly when I'm on my phone or I've got my laptop. Um, uh, so, Right, let's install Webmin. Uh, if we go to webmin.com forward slash download.html, um, I'm going to be downloading the Unix tar gzip file. Sorry about that noise. Um, so basically, um, we can install the RE, uh, RPM if you're running uh, CentOS like I am. I'm going to install the uh, tar.gz file. It's pretty much as e just as easy. Um, if you're running Ubuntu, you're going to want to download the Debian package here. So uh, obviously Debian is going to install pretty easily, uh, but you know with the tar uh, tar file, uh, you can install that pretty pretty easily. So we're going to copy the link address there. Uh, if obviously if you're running Ubuntu, then copy the deb file, um, and you're going to want to log into your server remotely. So I'm just going to connect via SSH, um, and there's a couple of uh, dependencies we need to install. First one's going to be uh, Perl. Uh, my phone's going off, which can't be that good uh, during a video. Um, right, so uh, if I'm on, because I'm on CentOS, I can use yum install Perl. If you're on Debian, you'll want to re uh, install uh, app get install Perl uh, 1L, um, and that's going to go off and get it. Now, you notice I haven't put sudo at the start, and that's because I'm logged in as root, and you can log into root by hitting su and then enter your administrator password. So, um, yeah, we're going to yum install Perl. And this will go off and download the packages. And hit yes. And it's going to download them. Okay, that's installed Perl. And now what we're going to do is we're going to CD into our temp folder. What am I doing? Right, so there's no files in our temp folder. And now what we're going to do is wget. And we're going to that we get that file we copied from Webbin. This is then going to download that file. Give it a sec. Okay, so now what we can do is we can list out the files here. You can see we've got a webmin.tar.gz file. So we're just going to do tar xf uh, and then we're going to type in the webmin file. That's going to extract it. And it's going to create a webmin folder. See, look, we now have a webmin.1.60. So that's the file extracted pretty much. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to remove the uh, webmin uh, tar gz file. So now we just have the webmin folder. And now I'm going to move that webmin folder. And I'm just going to call it webmin. Makes things a bit easier. Less typing. Uh, right, so now what we're going to do is once you've you're going to need Apache installed for this because obviously um, that's how it accesses the files. So we're basically going to move the webmin folder to our var directory, uh, oh, our www folder, and then our HTML folder. Okay, so the file's gone in this directory and it's moved into our basically our root of our website. So uh, let's go in there. It's been a bit slow on my SSH session here. Oh, what am I doing? I think I'm typing too fast for my own good. <laughs> there we go. Right, so we're going to see it into our web uh, webmin folder. Um, we're going to basically just run the setup-sh file. 
and it's going to say config files can put into our Etsy directory. That's fine. And it's going to go off and install everything. Yeah, it's quite nice. You notice it will automatically install the Perl and automatically install everything else, and that's it. Weapons installed. So now when we go to our website, which mine is cloud.blades.me, it will take us straight in. I'm logged in as admin. If you've installed it before, um, my setup files are still there. So during that setup, it will probably ask you for username and password. Um, but because when you log into it first time, it will say username and password. But once you're logged in, this is what it looks like. And obviously here you can do your firewall, so your IP table, SSH tunnels, TCP, hardware, grub boot loaders. It's awesome. It really is. Uh, so that's pretty much how you install Webmin onto your Linux server. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a subscribe and a like. If you have any problems or anything like that, just drop a comment below and I'll help you guys out. Thanks a lot. Bye.